What is the earliest recorded reports of the resurrection? Can you take us from the cross to Paul's conversion through his first two trips to, to Jerusalem? Right. Well, you, you know, Kevin, that is the single most important segment of what I call the timeline from the cross all the way to the Gospel of John. The cross to the Gospel of John would be about 65 years, 30 to about 95 AD. Let's just take that first section. If you put the cross here, now a couple different dates are given, but by far the most popular date is 30 AD, but that's that's almost irrelevant. What, would, what we call that date is not important. Um, crucifixion, and immediately after the crucifixion, some scholars think it's the same year as the crucifixion. If you think of it this way, the crucifixion we know, unlike Christmas, we know the time of the year it is, and crucifixion happens in the spring. Those who think that that earliest creed of 1 Corinthians 15, 3 to 7, and it could be more than one creed attached, it could be a couple of them strung out, but those who think that that creed is only a few months later, which is a popular option, it could still be that same year. If you're crucified in spring, you'd have nine months, eight months minimum, to get that creed out by December. So here's crucifixion. That first creed is going to be so close. And I'm reminded that Bart Ehrman, the atheist New Testament scholar, we cite him so much because he's very free about reporting the data we know. And he said, maybe every single creed Paul quotes, and that could be over a dozen, just Paul alone. He says all these little tiny snippets of information that are oral creeds that Paul records, he says they all could have been around before Paul was converted. So, if they're all around before Paul was converted, here's the cross, and you've got maybe a dozen creeds. Paul's conversion is either plus two or plus three. So, crucifixion, plus two or plus three. Paul comes to the Lord. I could stretch it out a little bit. I could say we can make this Paul's conversion, but the, but the years are the same. This is plus two or plus three. Uh, I only have two hands, but Ehrman would say, Right in this little space of two to three years, all those creeds are probably already in existence. In fact, Ehrman says over and over again, many of them date one to two years after the cross. Just one to two, and some people would put it that same year. So, wow, from 30-ish AD in, in zero, the same year, or one, two, or at the most three afterwards, we could have over a dozen New Testament reports. All right. Now, Paul's on the way to Damascus at plus two or plus three, still very early. He has an experience that he believes is an appearance of the risen Jesus. And three years later, he comes back to Jerusalem in Galatians 1, which all critics accept as a good book. I think Ehrman says he doesn't know anybody who disputes it. Um, Paul comes back to Jerusalem. Now, if you think Paul was converted at plus two... This event is plus five, two plus three. If you think Paul's converted to plus three, three plus three is six. So Paul's got the, the dates, and people trust Paul. Critics trust the book of Galatians very much. So let me say it again. Here's crucifixion. The creeds are right in here, and Paul's conversion is either here or here, plus two or three. And three years later, he's in Jerusalem. So at plus five after the cross, maybe plus six. Paul goes to Jerusalem in Galatians chapter 1, 18 to 20, and he spends 15 days with Peter and James, the brother of Jesus, two apostles. Peter and James, the brother of Jesus. Now, the whole theme of the book of Galatians, it's a short book, only a few chapters, and you can you can summarize the theme of Galatians in, in one um, sentence. You could say, it's all about the gospel. This is Paul. It's all about the gospel. Make it too little, and it's heresy. Make it too much, and it's heresy. In other words, if you say, the gospel is that we said before, the gospel is the deity, death, resurrection of Jesus, minimum. But if you say, 
deity death resurrection and Jesus came from Nazareth and you have to believe that to be saved. Now you're perverting the gospel. So Paul says don't make it too big, don't make it too small. Stick with the data. Deity, death, resurrection. And he wouldn't talk to Peter about it. Now, my first comment, if I'm Paul, here's my question to Peter and James. Hey guys, I know you haven't heard this from my mouth because we haven't talked about this before, but I'll tell you what Jesus looked like to me on the way to Damascus. If you tell me what Jesus looked like to you that first resurrection day after the crucifixion. And Paul may even have added, come on, Peter, I'm not trying to be mean, but you denied your Lord three times? James, you didn't even believe in him while he was at home and while he came back to your town. And for me, I'm the worst. I don't deserve to be called an apostle. He says right there, 1 Corinthians 15, I persecuted the church. So we're all in this together. What made us change? And he must have heard some great testimonies there. All right, then it says he goes to Jerusalem again. This is Galatians 2. So now here's the cross. Here's the creeds. Here's Paul's conversion. Here's his first trip to Jerusalem. He makes a second trip to Jerusalem. He says 14 years later. But the question is, what do you add that 14 years to? And scholars usually put the second trip about 48, which is amazing because the first New Testament book has not even been written yet. Here's the cross. First New Testament book is usually said to be 1 Thessalonians 50 A.D. That's easy. 50 minus 30 is plus 20. Paul's second trip to Jerusalem is just before that. So he goes to Jerusalem again in uh, Galatians chapter 2. And in chapter 2, verse 2, he said he went up there to get the gospel right and to make sure that all the apostles were on the same page with him. And not only was Peter still there, not only was James still there, not only was, of course, Paul there, but John, the apostle, the big four, the most influential of all time, Paul, James, Peter, and Paul are all together, and they're talking about the nature of the gospel, and he said, we all agreed. He said, they gave me the right hand of fellowship, Barnabas and me, and he said, here's, here's the words in English, they added nothing to me. Five words. They added nothing. So I gave them the gospel. Is it, guys, is this the gospel? Is this what you're preaching? And of course, to those facts, you have to say, I do to Jesus. That's all review from other little questions. But they said, yep, they added nothing to me, and they gave us the right hand of fellowship. That's the first five or six years in particular, 18 years to get both trips to Jerusalem in. <laughs>